we've got the assistant athletic director and the person that is the head honcho when it comes to the grounds, the field conditions here at Spartan Stadium. It's Amy Fowdy from Michigan State. Amy, how you doing? I'm doing great, thanks. It's, uh, first of all, awesome to be here. It's going to be a huge game, noon on Fox, Ohio State in town to take on the Spartans. And Amy, the field conditions are going to be a topic. Why? Because it's November and it's in Michigan. How difficult is it, first and foremost, to get a field ready after you've had a, a wet, rainy game against Michigan? Now you get some snow this week. Tell, take us into what goes on. Well, we did have a little bit of sodding to do that we did around the bench areas and some areas that were damaged. Um, but for the most part, the playing surface was intact and it was good. We just needed to uh, do a little bit of work on it, smooth her back out, and it was all good. Okay, so Amy is going to be humble, but I'm going to tell you right now, this is one of the best fields in America. And when it comes to the natural grass fields around the country, there's only a handful anymore because everyone has gone to the synth synthetic turf. But of the ones that are still natural grass, they hand out an award for the best turf field, uh, 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 regular grass field in the country. You guys have won that award here how many times? Yeah, we have received the Sports Turf Managers Association Collegiate Football Field of the Year twice in 15 years here. You got to love that. By the way, I am a former groundskeeper at a high school football stadium back in my minor league days. So this stuff to me is like super interesting. I, I absolutely love it. You might be wondering, what in the world are they doing? Why is the tarp being blown? Is this just like the wind? Is it a windy day? Not really. The wind is actually not really blowing here at Spartan Stadium right now on a Friday. But Amy, what are you doing right now? Because this is the heaters that you've got blowing the tarp up. What's going on? Yeah, we call this old school NFL. Back in the day when the guys didn't have heat, they would take heaters and blowers and blow heat under the tarp to keep the field warm and from freezing. So that's what we're doing here today. We're just blowing some air, trying to uh, get that moisture out of the ground, evaporate it out a little bit. And um, so it's a nice little ripple most of the day, and then we'll keep going through the nighttime. So these will work all night and basically up until game time, until the players step onto the field, this, tar uh, this tarp will be out here to make sure that it doesn't freeze, to make sure that you're drying it out, everything along those lines? Absolutely, that that's the game plan. Now, I gotta ask you about the conditions as it relates to the field after a wet game like Michigan. We had the rain. Remember, we had the delay. Gus and I were here with Jenny Taft. We had the delay. Uh, you have the wet conditions. How difficult is it after a game like that to get the field back and ready to go? It can be really challenging because you have two sets of warm-ups. You have um, just wet conditions. The guys chew it up a bit during the game. They're not really getting into into the field, but they're just chewing up that surface, the wet surface with their cleats. Speaking of chewing up the, the surface, let's go back. It was three weeks ago, and Devin Bush from Michigan, their star middle linebacker, decided that he was going to have a little, uh, I don't know, Cleat attack on the Spartan at the 50-yard line. This is before the game as he's chewing up the field. And Amy Foudy and her staff did a remarkable job of not only getting out there to make sure that the field looked good, but to repaint the 50-yard line. So when that happened, who alerted you that something was going on, and how quickly did you realize you had to get out there to fix what was going on at the 50? We were standing here observing the entire situation, and um, we walked out took a look at it. He really didn't do that much damage. Um, <laughs> this field's pretty solid. Uh, it looked a great deal worse than it actually was. So you knew you just needed a little lipstick, right? You just need a little paint, fix his cleat marks, and then you're good to go. It, I was more embarrassed for the kid. The field was fine. <laughs> That field was fine. You got to love that. Now, when it comes to tomorrow, are there any concerns for you uh, about the field tomorrow, or is it holding up pretty good right now? Well, you know, it's November. It's football in November, so it's a little thin right now. And uh, we have two more this game and another game, Rutgers, in a couple weeks. But that's just football in the north. You're going to play on a field that probably isn't real pretty. Um, but as long as it plays well and it's safe for the players, it is good to go. Look at this. We're going to get blown away here by the heaters. <laughs> by the way, I was wondering if the, it was going to be, like, warm because – I'm from California, so I'm freezing my butt off. And I thought to myself, if the heaters are blowing, maybe I'm just going to crawl under the tarp and actually get warm. But it's 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 not quite as, as hot and cozy under there as I thought. Just a lot of air moving around. Correct. Uh, Amy Foudy, thank you so much for being with us today. It's a really cool look at what goes on here at Spartan Stadium. Thank you very much.